Hello friends, welcome back to this tutorial series. This is the part 19 of this uh, project and in this part we will be learning how we can upload a file in Nest.js. In the previous part we saw how to create a custom decorator and we created this custom decorator uh, that's the user decorator here to get the currently logged in user and in our auth service if you remember we created not in the auth service auth controller we created a couple of endpoints one to verify the auth status and the other one to log out the user right so let me close all these uh, files i don't need them i don't need the user decorator either so in the post controller uh, first of all we need a route where we can uh, send the request to upload the file so just below the slug endpoint i'm going to create a new post endpoint here okay because we will be sending some data so post would be the best um, http verb here and the path will be upload slash photo you can give any path you like and this is the name i chose so here the function name again you can give any function name you want so i'll give it upload photo and this function would essentially take a file okay so i'll use a decorator here let's upload it file and this is imported from the nest.js common package i'll show you here uh, uploaded file you see it's imported from nest.js common library and once you do that uh, where is it uh, where is my function ah there it is I'll give it a name in a name you want like file and the type of this file variable will be a little bit different it will be express dot multa dot file and you see it's giving me a red squiggly here so it's not found because uh, let me check something wrong with the import statements Oh, let me check here again let's try it again express dot multi dot file express from express okay like that let's see yeah, I got it here and now let me, let's try to use multi dot file but it's not taking right now let's head back to the official docs so here i'll search for milda uh, basic example okay the file type do you see the file type here yeah express dot multi dot file So do I need to import anything? Okay, yeah, I need to import the types here. Uh, my bad. So let's go here in the terminal. Uh, like do it like that. Okay, hopefully this error should go away. Uh, yeah, there you go. It's gone now because it, now it knows what is multi and it is able to find the namespace properly. So I was missing this. Uh, types for multi the, in the develop dev, dev dependencies make sure you install this okay so this is why it's always good to refer the official docs whenever you are stuck somewhere so once you do that let me minimize this i don't need it anymore so i gave this file the correct type now what we can do so we can simply console log the file here okay and still this will not uh be capable of uploading files because i'm not using multi as of now i'm simply defining a defining an endpoint and the file here let's see if i try to hit this endpoint with a with an image file what what do we get so i go back to my postman i already created one 
new request here so i'll go to the body go to form data and here i'll choose file and i'll give it any name uh, let's say the key is file any name you want and from a desktop i'll select this war zone image and, and i hit send okay so it's a 201 created i'll check my console what do we get we get undefined because this file was lost in the in the transit because we we never ever were able to capture this file okay so to do that we have to use an interceptor here and this interceptor is already provided to us by nestjs and the multi package and the interceptor name is file interceptor okay so as you know this would in intercept the request and do something in between so this file interceptor takes a field name so this is the field that you will use in your front end so here i am using file so i'll choose file but in my actual repo i have used a different name so make sure you check this file uh, or the field name property there and then it takes some local options so in this in this local options we can define where we want this uh files to be uploaded in which folder so i'll create a new folder at the project level here so here so i'll say uh, uploads so it should be at the root here okay and in my storage property okay i can define disk storage okay again i have to import it so import this from multa okay so all these packages come along with nestjs out of the box okay this is pretty uh neat and helpful so inside the disk storage options you can define the destination in my case it will be uploads and this is from the root okay so dot slash uploads and then we have the file name you can define the file name let me just show you what what we can define you can define the file name and i'll not use the default method here so it gives me a lot of things i'll simply remove this so file name would be an arrow function of course so, and in this parameter list i would be having a request actual file and the callback function so in this method or the body you can define a custom file name that you would like the uploaded file to have so in our case we'll generate a new file name because otherwise it will, it will have default uh, file name that is there in the uh, in, in your local drive and if you upload the same file twice it would again have a conflict so what, what, what we'll do we'll construct a name and that uh, we will use the file object here or the file uh, variable here so this has got certain properties so we'll use the original name property and we'll split it uh, with a dot okay and this will give this will make it into an array okay of strings if i remove this oops I remove this you see this is an array of strings but i would only need the first part so if my file name is warzone.jpj so the file name will be warzone and from dot after dot it will be my extension so file extension equals to the same thing here but with one here now another i'm defining the on a, a final variable new file name that will be name dot split and if there are any spaces so i'll remove the spaces and join them with underscore and then i'll give another underscore after the file name and then we'll use the date dot now function so it will insert the current timestamp 
10 i'll put a dot and then the file extension simple once that is done i'll run the callback and this callback takes two parameters error and the file name so i don't have any error so i'll pass null and the file name is new file name perfect so once the file name is constructed i'll go back here and then i can also use a file filter property here again this is too much so i will remove this i'll use the arrow function okay so file filter means that i will only allow certain types of files such as images i don't want the user to be to be uploading a, a word file or an excel file here so i will limit the use cases to only image files so here again it will take a request a file and a callback so in the body i'll check if the file dot original name dot match so this uh, can take a regular expression okay so i'm gonna copy the regular expression from my notes so this is not complex i'll explain it to you because this is the matcher statement so this says that after the dot it should be either jpj jpej png or gif and this this is the end so if it ends with any one of these four values so that is allowed and if it does not so i have a i have an exclamation mark here so it simply negates the condition or negates the output of this sorry uh if statement so if it's not matching then i would return a call back and i will not pass on any file so i'm not throwing any error here for i mean on, on purpose because that would prevent the execution to the to this actual function uh but i'm simply passing the null value here and the error but i'm not passing any files okay so my file is false if this error is if this condition is false then so then in the else statement or in the default statement i'll pass the error as null and the file okay oh sorry uh, not file the true so this this takes uh true or false okay this accept file parameter this is this is a boolean so once you once you do this and if everything is working fine you can save the changes check your console okay now if you go back to your uh, postman plan and hit send let's see what we have we have the file now in the console as you can see the original name was warzone.jpj however the destination file name was warzone underscore the timestamp.jpg and it got uploaded to this path and if i check the upload folder i should have a new file here this is the new file okay isn't it wonderful and simple this is this ha i mean nest has nest.js has made this a lot easier so if you use a, a regular node.js uh, node.js and express application it would take a lot of time to build this functionality but you get this out of the box with nest.js and this, this is simply amazing so uh we don't want to console log here actually we want to send this file to the front end user now we'll do a small check so if the file is not there that means we are not sending a valid extension here so this this would only happen if my extension doesn't match here. and I, I can show you that so if i remove this file and choose maybe this icon here okay and hit send it doesn't work and I, i'll i'll throw through the message here through the error message here i'll say uh, return error, error or maybe throw new bad request exception uh file is not an image okay and else if it's an, if it's an image we'll simply uh, construct a response and this will have my file path file path is uh, my actual location of the file so i'll create an endpoint 
local host 5000 posts pictures i'll create an endpoint with the name pictures and then i'll pass in the file name there okay to fetch the uh file actual file and here i'll return response save now go back now i'm sending the icon file okay so i'll hit send says file is not an image it's a bad request but now if i go back and select the same war zone here and hit send so i get this path and if i click this link okay it says i cannot get the picture right now because there, there is no endpoint but let's keep it there and i go back to my uh, controller i'll quickly create a get uh, endpoint that is for the pictures pictures and this expects a file name okay the file actual uh function name you can put any name you want so i'll say get picture and this will have uh i'll fetch the parameter using the param decorator and this will be file name and i'll get a local uh what you call local variable file name and i'll also use the response property from express so i'll simply respond dot send file method so this is this comes along with your along with this uh namespace or interface okay the send file it takes three arguments okay first one is the file that you want to send that will be file name of the path and the second one is the option okay so i'll define the root property here to upload so now if i send or save the changes okay i still have my browser open with this error now if i refresh this i should get the picture now right let's upload another one uh maybe this background okay i hit send and i follow this link so i get this image so this pretty much concludes the file upload uh i mean file upload video and we saw how easy it is to create endpoint to upload the file and to fetch the file okay and uh, it doesn't matter if the file names are same because it will be appended with the timestamp so it will never ever conflict with your previous uh, uploads so i hope you like this particular video if you have any doubts any comments and suggestions put those in the comment section below and in the next video i plan to cover the user or uh, role based access control system so please stay with me stick to this uh, tutorial and don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and share it with your friends so till then enjoy the series and i'll see you in the next video take care and have a wonderful day